I'm a thinker and put it out, but that's different from these questions that have been raised about oppression and disability and human beings in the here and now who are fighting for that dignity and how is that compatible with this radical vision of going back to a hunter-gatherer society. Um, that's totally different. And okay. in terms of responsibility, the responsibility of those eco-fascists that are saying the same thing. Right, right. Please, right. Uh, I respect I respect your opinion, but we know we we don't have time for you know discussing with one person. So we have so many people here, and there are like 15 people on the list. We can only take three more questions, and so uh, I'll go by the list. So it's here, yes. Um, I believe in being self-critical. I also believe that a lot of times actions speak louder than words, and I'm just curious as to why, if you are passionate about what you believe in, why it is you're not out there being your primitive. Instead, here it looks like you've taken control of technology that you apparently uh, don't like to create a kind of a, uh, almost a, a cult of personality. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying that we shouldn't have this discussion. I just find it ironic that a white privileged male has control of this discussion. So, like... You're a white privileged male, too. <laughs> <laughs> you I'm a white privileged male. There you go. <laughs> well, I... Uh, it's, another, it's another confession. It's... it's uh, I mean, I'm not comfortable in having to do this, but the reality is... It is, it is a contradiction. It's more than an irony. You can say it, it's an hypocrisy. It is. I mean, and I didn't ask for this fucking society. I'm, I'm here. I'm born in it. I mean, I was in London once, and uh, this guy was hopping up and down the back, and he, he demanded to know, did you swim here? Did you swim here? And I said, no, I, I don't, I'm not that good a swimmer. It would have taken me a year or something anyway. Yeah, no, I, I am on, on a polluting jet like everybody else. You know, that's right. Or I could, I suppose, sit in a, ca in a cave somewhere, but I'm trying to help uh, make some contribution, and I can't do that. We can't do the magazine without computers, which we hate. But there it is. I mean, what, how do you, maybe you can tell me how you get around that. I, I don't know. We're trying to uh, Go back contribute to the, to the dialogue, but if you, if you can't, if you can't, uh, I mean, and I, have a, I have a radio show every week. There's more hypocrisy, right? I mean, but I, you know, I don't know what to say about it. <laughs> One more thing I don't know what to say about it, I guess. Yeah. Well, uh, gentlemen, in gray t-shirt, please. Yeah. Um, I had a, a few points. Um, first of all, I, I, I am very frustrated that there's no middle ground between these two points of view. Um, on the one hand, there's a, a strong discussion of hunter-gatherer societies and primitive societies, which I, I find very, very interesting. I don't have enough knowledge of the anthropology and archaeology around it. <coughs> On the other hand, there's this, I mean, the kinds of jokes and comments that I'm hearing are like, they just indicate that, yep, it's, it's this classical anarchist position that um, still, in my opinion, doesn't seem to be engaging with technology at all. And I went, there's this discussion about technology being neutral, about um, someone, uh, Jaggy, said, uh, I, I think it's indisputable, we all acknowledge that technology is not neutral, that it's all these problems. Well, where's the theory of it? I want to know. Um, there, the bourgeois political economy says capital is neutral. It says markets are neutral. The great contribution of Marx was to say that no, these things contain social aspects in them. So, he had to delve in and develop some kind of theory where he's going to say how capital carried all these different social relationships. Well, I think maybe we should start engaging that with technology. Mm -hmm. Who, who's actually doing it? I, there's not a lot of people doing it. I'm not saying you have to be a primitivist to engage with that, but I think that you should try. Um, and I mean, I, again, on some other points, I think that the thing about using technology, like everybody here uses money. For the most part, I don't know if there's someone who doesn't use money, I commend you, but this whole gathering functions on money, and that's not really consistent with our ideology either. So we do have to work with some kind of strategy within this. And the other point I wanted to make is that, just saying because fascist movements are taking different ideas, they take all ideas. The actual fascist movements of the 30s, they use socialist ideology pretty strongly. So I don't think it's necessarily you have to go back and 
challenge all these former socialists from the turn of the century right, going up until the Second World War and say, you didn't take enough responsibility to make sure that fascism didn't get our So, uh, I guess the, the major problem uh, with this debate is that many people's knowledge is based on this capitalist knowledge that comes from um, the notion of feudalism, uh, slavery, you know, systems of oppressions, uh, agricultural control, domestication, and um, we, so, we suddenly jump in in this sort of modern or postmodern capitalized knowledge. And we buy into it and then we start saying, well, you know, women are having problems with uh, diluting because of the hormone. But the hormones problem is a response to, uh, to the industrial pollution, to the stress, to the level of stress, to the level of fear, aggression, constant fear in face of constant aggression. And uh, when at a certain point, if you read Michel Foucault, if you read uh, Jane Usher, uh, Misogyny or Women's Madness, you know, how um, capitalism has uh, uh, hunted, you know, it was like a witch hunt uh, against women who possess natural knowledge of how to live in matriarchal society, how to control their bodies, how, how to uh, interact with the world. You know, suddenly uh, we have the physician emerging, the male authoritarian telling the women that they're ill, that they're not capable of taking care of themselves or their sisters. So, you know, a lot of these uh, problems are constructed within this paradigm of capitalist knowledge. And if you are anarchists, that's the first thing you're supposed to question. Where do you get your knowledge from? Is it the statistics that are published in the Gazette? Women are dying. Well, women are dying in the hospitals. Read the statistics of children born with cancer. 25% of children in North America are born with diseases that are incurable. They die by the age of 10 or maybe 15 because you artificially extend it. Well, maybe in a natural society they wouldn't have this. <laughs> well, that, that can live. Go and study you know, whether they die or not. You know, challenge the information and the knowledge on which you build your, your position. <laughs> Well, the, uh, the impetus part, it's not only the impending eco-catastrophe, but my guess is what is even more, what may be more operative is the absolute pathology that's now developing in the most developed countries. You know, it, for example, in the U.S., you know, it's just uh, school shootings. I've been writing about that. You know, what, where have we gotten to now when children come or, or just people at the mall or, you know, this is happening on, in the U.S. And I, I'm aware of cultural differences. This is not a gun uh, crazed uh, society up here, nothing like the U.S. But if you look at the most developed countries, the most industrialized uh, tech countries, you see very similar things and really awful things. You know, how many millions on antidepressants or, or anti-anxiety uh, drugs. Kids at a younger and younger age, 70 million, 70 million people in the U.S. have significant problems sleeping, 70 million. Males can't uh, perform sexually now without drugs. There are, more, there are millions now hooked on these drugs, on Viagra and stuff like that. I mean, it's, just, it's all just becoming awful. You know, not, again, not to even mention <coughs> And now it's just a throwaway line about the uh, about the unfolding disaster of, of uh, the physical environment. What, what about the what about the mental environment? You know, inner nature and outer nature are both being just incredibly bludgeoned, and we're supposed to just pretend. You know, in other words, this is the negative. This is just strictly the negative impetus. How much worse does it have to get? Well, 
Some people are still clinging, oh, we, we love mass society, 